I'm Mikaela Hood with the Pocono Record, part of USA Today Network. We have a very special guest in the Poconos, Baron Batch. He is a former Pittsburgh Steelers player and also an established graffiti artist, poet, and an activist. Tell us, uh, how have your trip been so far here? Uh, refreshing, <laughs> reju rejuvenating. The yeah. scenery is gorgeous. I mean, these mountains. Yeah, I'm in the studio a lot, so just the change of scenery being out in the mountains um it's it's been inspiring and, and fun tell me you know what is your inspiration to give this positive i mean we need this right now positive vibes artwork and and creative pieces that tell us you know be calm i love the one that says you know don't be afraid so, so much of the work um all the work is um, they're like self affirmations rather than me like telling other people right. what, what to do and it's been that way for I've been making artwork from that place for about a decade now okay. really like um, self work self encouragement and so the expression of that turns into like physical pieces that other people can um, can gather the meaning from. But I think over the years, what what it's it's created uh, like a dynamic where like I prefer to to really stay behind the the art and let the artwork be what speaks. Um, be the focal point. Yeah, so something like this where I'm getting to be present and interact with people. Um, and when I do these, it's uh, it always reminds me that um, I just get to be me, you know? And I think that that's like the, the, the central thread of like the message of the artwork is, is to like, like be the... the best authentic you and like let that be your contribution um let that be like your form of artwork that, that you um share and uh a lot of the conversations over the this the last few days have um yeah, have been about that like what that looks like how to use certain tools like journaling uh and expression to um get repetitions at, at a practice like that like practical ways to activate um those creative muscles in your daily life yes today we're gonna to take a class with you about letting go, you know dealing with your creative triggers mm -hmm. which I think is so important for anyone even if you're an artist or not you know kind of with, with anything you do with intention is you know letting it go and kind of you know using something that you have inside yourself to create right yeah it's, it's about relationship it's about relationship and so much about relationship is like not being in control like letting go you're in relation to something that is like you're part of but it's also not you right but because you're part of it it also is you as well you know and that balance of that right so visual artwork very much is about that because you're working with like your tools and your materials and then you're also working with like your own interpretation of those tools and materials and what's possible I and mean, then what's also being applied is like how you're feeling in that moment <laughs> one thing that you'll notice and this applies to a lot the longer you look at something and look for something you define something that you find you are like oh well, that's what it is and then you start like critiquing it when you're moving observing what's in motion and responding to that you shrink that space and availability to be negatively critical 